You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host. Today I have a familiar face from last year. That would be Patrick Sullivan, who works at the city's recycling center. And um, we're talking about Keep Brockton Beautiful Day. Yes. Okay. Um, that's May 2nd. May 2nd. Okay. Um, we're going to talk about the time, the date, the place, the whole nine yards. But Patrick, I got to tell you, it's got to be a tough, tough one this year after this winter. To, to, to keep anything beautiful. What That's a right. mess we had That's this right. winter. So all the, 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 the grass is out, the, the, you're starting to see green, you're starting to see um, birds, and everybody mm -hmm. seems to be a lot happier. They are right now, yes. So right. why is this such a great event, in your opinion? I, I know it's, it's mm -hmm. part of your job, but I have mm -hmm. a feeling, Patrick, knowing you, that if you weren't doing it as a job, you would be doing it as a volunteer. I probably would be doing it as a volunteer. We, uh, we volunteered from the very first, the very first one. This is the tenth year, and uh, we've used it. Uh, it's it's just a great event because the community comes out and really puts their money where their mouth is. They, you you get in my job, all you, you get a lot of people calling all the time. This street's messy. That street's messy. There's litter here and there, and you have a limited workforce, a couple of guys that, and you try to hit all. 1,300 streets in the city. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is different. These people are saying, yeah, this street is dirty, I don't like it, and I want to do something about it. And this gives us a chance to help the community help themselves. The city provides all the equipment. We provide all the uh, pickup of the, of the litter once it's picked up. Uh, and we also provide a community event, uh, a cookout at the end. Uh, it's just a good, it's a, it's a good day. It's mostly provided by volunteers. All the volunteers, a lot of the equipment's volunteered, uh, uh, given by volunteers. The t-shirts and the gloves are all donated. Uh, so it's really not costing the taxpayers any money. Mm -hmm. And it's just people coming out and having a good day and, and cleaning up the city a little bit. Now you said 10th year. I think it started Units Administration, if I'm not yeah, mistaken, yes, because we've yes. been through Mayor Belzardi and Mayor Harrington, and yes. now we have Mayor Carpenter. Yes. I think it kicked off right at the end of Units Administration. I, I, it did. He was the mayor when we first started. But it originated, from what I remember, from councilors, former councilors Tom Brophy, yes. and I think Todd Petty as well, if I'm not and mistaken. And Todd Petty was a big help. Because Todd initially. was Mr. Clean Up when he was a city councilor. He, he was. He'd clean up on other days of the year all year Yes, long. he does. You can still see him with his picker once in a while out um, there. You know, Mr. Street. Petty's market over there. Now, mm -hmm. we call him the Sausage King now instead yeah. of councilor. Oh, okay. Right? <laughs> um, but anyway, so the event itself, May 2nd, early start, 7.30 in the morning. 7.30, for sign up registration. Yeah. And uh, about 9 o'clock is when you'd actually go out and, and, uh, and, and pick some litter. The registration is up at Heights Crossing. You can also pre-register at mm -hmm. the Recycle Center, or you can come down and call us or, or pick up equipment there. The registration is mostly to pick an area to clean mm -hmm. and to get some equipment to clean it and some bags and, and go out and do your thing. So it doesn't necessarily have to be done that day. We can pre-arrange it. You can go directly to the site uh, that you want to clean. But we do encourage everyone to come back at the end because it is a good time. There's some drawings and, uh, and, and some food. So tell thing. everybody, in case they don't know, if they're, if they're into cleaning up, they know where the recycling center is. But tell them where it is. Okay, the recycling center is on 300 Oak Hill Way. That's mm -hmm. on the south side of town. Uh, we're across from UPS, if anyone's... Uh, been down to UPS, that, that's probably the best landmark, or by where the school buses are, mm -hmm. um, th that area of town. We're behind Sergeant's Plaza, where Sergeant's Plaza used to be. Right. And uh, we're off Plain Street and South Main. We're kind of in between those. Okay. Now, ahead of this, we're going to be having this on TV all the way till May 2nd, so we get yes. people to go. Which right. they're going to do, and mm -hmm. I think the pre-registration is helpful, so you have an idea of what's going to be clean. So if yes. people show up on site, mm -hmm. you can send them someplace else. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. But ahead of that, on I think it's April twenty-third, mm -hmm. there's a public meeting, six o'clock at the library. What's that all about? Okay, the public meeting is basically, again, it's another form of pre-registration. Mm -hmm. uh, if anyone has not uh, worked this event before and wants to find out more information or find out what they can do, uh, we encourage them to come to the public meeting because that, 
that can give people different roles too. Maybe everyone isn't suited to go out and pick trash. Uh, maybe do, there may be some restrictions or they may be a little bit older. That doesn't mean there's no place for them. They, we need people to handle registrations, people to hand out uh, items, things like that. So mm -hmm. you don't, uh, so the public meeting basically gives people a chance to ask questions that, that uh, and, and see if this is a right event for them to attend. And I know there are different groups in the city. There's a cleanup crew that's all around the city during yes. the year that's a volunteer organization. Mm -hmm. But you might want to, you know, if you are in a certain school in the city, you might mm -hmm. want to do that school. Or if you're in a church or a synagogue or mm -hmm. some, uh, some event, you can do your own area. Right, we'll let you pick an area as long as it's uh, public property. That, would, that is the one restriction. Okay. But, uh, but, you, but yes, if you see an area that you drive to work every day and every day you go past this one area and it's all littered up and you just, it, it, it's annoying to you, you can say, you know what, this is, this is the place I want to pick. Mm -hmm. We have no problem with that. Uh, if you can't think of any place in general, uh, we have plenty of uh, places we can give to you, but of course we want you to be happy. So if it's a place you see all the time, that's probably the place for you. Now, um, if people want to call you for more information, I mean, they can stop down and visit you and yes, get their can. recycling bin if they need mm -hmm. another one or, you know, they aren't over their limit. What's the phone number over at your place? It's 508-580-7827. Uh, mm -hmm. 7827. And you coordinate this also with DPW? I do. We, this is through the DPW. Mm -hmm. uh, the DPW up at City Hall would end up probably referring you down to me, but it's 5807 one three five seven one three five okay but that uh, the the first number I gave is more direct seven eight two seven number that's the one we're going to put up on the screen okay okay now um, I know there's a beautification committee in there Rockton is. that the yes. city council and the mayor's office set up yes um, is those people are involved as well those people are involved as well that's okay. a, a committee that was set up uh, by by Mayor Belzardi mm -hmm. and uh, it, it includes Myself, it includes the commissioner as uh, standing members, also one city councilor, and then there's a, a number of volunteers that are also on the committee. Uh, they basically are in, the, they're not just formed for this, they're formed for all year round. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have cleanups almost every weekend. Somebody's cleaning something up, and that falls under the beautification committee. Okay, well, I'm just gonna recap. If okay. that's okay, Patrick, uh, two, two events, uh, the public meeting on April 23rd at 6, East Branch Library to talk about Keep Rockin' Beautiful Day and answer questions and get information. The event itself, May 2nd, Saturday, May 2nd, Keep Rockin' Beautiful Day, registration at 7.30, goes 9 to 12 with a barbecue at the end. If you want more information, 508-580-7827. Thanks, Patrick, for being here. Thank you very much, Mark. And you're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.